Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a quick little video tutorial on uh, kind of running your application on Heroku and getting started. Um, so let's say you downloaded one of my two boilerplates, whether it's the regular, you know, Node Express API or the Next.js uh, API. Um, and now you made simple changes, you're ready to run it. Um, so this tutorial, we're going to go and we're going to run the the Next.js API, so you can see how you're able to get the client side and server side. Uh, so let's get started. We'll go to Heroku, you make an account. I don't have to go through all of that. Um, and then you create a new app. Uh, let's name this one Tutorial. It's my life. Create app. Uh, you want to connect your GitHub, so it's going to ask you that. Um, you're going to have to sign in and all of that. Um, I'm already logged in, um, so I'm just going to look for my project. And let's see. So I'm picking my next Node API. I'm going to connect that. Um, I'm going to set it for uh, automatic deploys, so anytime I make any changes, um, you know, like when I make any changes and uh, merge them to master, um, it will update automatically. Uh, and then I'm going to deploy my branch. And while that's doing, we are going to go into uh, resources and we're going to want to install Postgres. Um, that's just uh, while we were developing the app, we we're using uh, SQLite and that's just like a lighter software. Uh, to use while you're developing. Uh, Postgres is kind of a more heavy base, uh, you know, more for production type of um, database or whatever. Um, so that does is just going to make sure it creates our tables. If we would stay with uh, SQLite, I've ran into issues where it'll delete your, uh, like all the information, I'll reset it like after a certain amount of hours. Um, so after that, you want to go into your configurations. Uh, in the settings, um, and you want to set your uh, db underscore env, and this is what we have it named in our app. Um, by default, it's going to go into development if it doesn't have this, so we're going to put it into production. And what that's going to do, it's going to activate, uh, well, it's going to put the settings and everything and connect everything to work with Postgres. Uh, once that done, we also have uh, hidden secrets, and this is where you would just store any secrets. Um, in our app, we have a name the day job, uh, sorry, JWT secret underscore secret, uh, all capital. Um, and here you could just put your secret, or it does have one by default if it, if it doesn't have this. So my secret or whatever you want to put in here. We'll add that, now that's done. Um, and now let's see if our app is running. Let's give it a few seconds, let's see what's going on. All right, so there you have it. You have our app, but we're not done yet. Um, we still have to run two commands uh, just to get our table set up because uh, right now if we were to make any uh, calls to this API it wouldn't work because there isn't a table set up. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go into run console and you want to Heroku run next migrate latest. What this is going to do it's going to create the tables that we had set up. Um, so every time you're running your API uh, Definitely have to run these commands. If you make changes to the tables, have to run these commands again. Um, if you do make changes to the table, uh, you want to do is run next migrate rollback. Um, you can see that in the past tutorial where I show how to make changes to the table on VS Code. Uh, so now you want to run this. It's going to take like a couple of seconds. And once it's created, you want to uh, run something else. All right, so that's perfect. It ran. It's working. 
now we want to add another command and that's going to be next uh, seed run and this is going to run our fake data that we put in there so we'll check how that's going a few more seconds and then i'll i'll make i'll do a small test and make sure we're getting the information back Perfect. So everything's done. Everything's good. Uh, so now we're back at our, you know, website or API. You want to take this uh, URL, and I'm going to test it on Postman how I did in my first tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to just swap this local host for um, the new URL that we have now with Heroku uh, API slash post, and we're going to send that. And as you can see, we're getting the post back. Um, and yeah, so your API is just going to be working off of uh, this endpoint slash API and the other endpoint you want to touch. Uh, so right now we'll just get the users real quick and then as you can see, it's going to be working good. All right, and that's working good. And you can watch the, uh, I'll post a link to the documentation for this one or um, actually I don't need to, it's just a whole video. Uh, thank you for watching.